y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be making a quick and easy salmon dinner in just 20 minutes check it out all righty so first we're going to start off with prepping our vegetables and i have here yellow squash zucchini red onion, carrot, as well as broccolini. And broccolini is just a, a long stem form of broccoli. So it's, it's no different, it's pretty much the same. But um, I'm not cutting this in any type of fashion. You know, you can just chop your vegetables up. We, we just wanna get them in the pan, chop them up any kind of way you want. And here with the broccolini, I don't like the stem. Uh, I like the stem, but I don't like too much of the stem. So here you see me kind of shaving it down to make it a little bit more narrow. And I'm also removing the little small leaves that are on the side. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but this is my preference. Now that we have our veggies all nice and chopped up, all chef-like, look at that, look, all fancy, <laughs> uh, we're going to work on our salmon next. All right, so now that we have our veggies prepped beautifully, we're going to let those vibe on the side, and we're going to focus on this piece of salmon, baby. And as you can see, I am prepping the salmon by first patting it down. Because A, I rinsed it. B, I don't want it to be tough. And this helps. Okay? And I'm also going to begin to season it right here on this plate. And I'm going to use onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, lemon pepper, and salt. Now you know better than that. Flip it over and season the other side. Finally, the good part. The good part, the cooking. So we're going to start off with sauteing our vegetables. And we're going to do this in a cast iron skillet. You can use whatever skillet you like, but I like my vegetables to have a little char on them. So I'm using my cast iron skillet. And I also put in some butter to start this off over medium high heat, as well as some salt, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And we're gonna saute these veggies up for about six to eight minutes, stirring them occasionally over medium high heat. And honey, look, if you need to add a little bit of butter, add you some more butter, okay? This is a cast iron skillet, those veggies will burn. Now I like a little bit of char on mine, so I lay them flat so it does get a little bit of burn, but we don't want them to stick to the pot. So like I said, if you need to add your little bit of butter, do so. So here's what I have after seven minutes of sauteing, and I'm gonna place them in a bowl and put them on the side and cook the salmon. So 
So in this same skillet, I'm going to take a little bit of, oh, wait a minute, that, that ain't a little bit of butter. That's a lot of butter. You don't have to use as much, but I'm going to get some butter and I'm going to put it in my skillet. And I'm going to let that melt down just a little bit. I kind of want to brown it a little bit, slightly. And I'm also going to add some lemon juice because I really want a lemon butter. Now, this right here helps my salmon to not be fishy. A lot of people don't like salmon because they say it's fishy. Well, this right here helps lemon and butter every single time. And I'm going to place the salmon into the skillet. And if you're using salmon with the skin, you do want to place the skin side down first. However, this is skinless, so it does not matter which way you put it in. And I'm also going to cook this for about six to eight minutes per side. This salmon is not very thick, but I do like my salmon well done. I don't want any raw pieces or any fleshy pieces, so I'm definitely going to cook it all the way through. If you want it to be rare, you can cook it for less time. All right, y'all, it's time to plate it up. So get you your favorite plate out of the cabinet or paper plate. If you want a paper plate pimp, that's fine. Get you a paper plate. And we're going to also add some steamable rice. This is some rice that I found at Publix for $1.99. I just pop it in the microwave and boom, it's ready. This is a 20-minute quick and easy dinner. That's what we said. Relax, okay? Relax. And you're going to add your salmon on top of your rice or slightly to the side. And you're also going to add your veggies around it. So, hey, if you're trying to step your presentation game up, you done made all this beautiful food. It tastes lovely. It should look lovely as well. It should look great. So, take your time with plating your food. Make it look beautiful. And there you have your beautiful, well-seasoned, beautifully plated, quick and easy 20-minute salmon dinner. Perfect for a weeknight, perfect for a date night, or even a meal prep. It does not matter. All I know is that it's good. Okay? And I want to thank you guys for watching my channel once again. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!